So that will take us to understand what is the concept, what is the definition of deception. The definition of what we call true deception. Because some deception is not true. Sometimes you do deception by mistake. We are not speaking about someone doing it by mistake. We are saying with intention. So they say it's about number one, you need to know what other animals are, uh, uh, that uh, other animals, they have minds. So animals, they know that other animals, they can think. Number two, they know that different animals, they have different way of thinking. And they understand that different way, a different animal, they have a way for us to trick them, to be able to make them think something other than what they are thinking. Three, three skills animals they have. They understand other animals are thinking, and they understand what they are thinking about, and they understand how they can manipulate their thinking. We call that technical deception. What's the definition of technical deception? The ability to think about what other monkeys are thinking, and then manipulate the thinking of other monkeys to get what you want. And look, it's not finished. And then try to hide. Look, animals, they don't only do deception. They understand that the consequences of deception, if they've been discovered by the leader, that they'll be out of the group. So they will try to hide their deception and act like they behave well. Very interesting. So let's discuss what kind of deceptions that will happen in the jungle. One of the deception called false uh, uh, marking on animals. Can you see this butterfly? It looks like a leaf. It looks exactly so no one will come and eat it. It understood that in nature to survive sometime you need to be able to hide yourself by creating marks on yourself. By changing your nature. Look at this. This is not an all. This is an actual butterfly. It looks like the eye. See, this is one, <laughs> and this is two. Can you see? But when you look at it, when birds are about to come to attack, they say, no, 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 this is another bird. So they run away. Because most likely bird will come and attack. So you need to understand how nature, they create deception. What about of a very interesting concept called mimicry? What's the meaning of mimicry? which is an action or skill to imitate someone or something specially in order to entertain or be able to survive. So there is an animal they discover in the ocean that got the ability to think about the danger or think about the opportunity and decide what kind of mimicry is going to take. What? We thought it will just go and do one shape and stay the same shape. No. It will look at the situation, assess the danger, and decide what kind of action to take. But some animals, they decide to manipulate the situation. Okay, if you are going to change yourself, I understand. Because it's nature. But uh, what about faking the situation? Animals, do they have the ability to lie to us, acting like they are dead? Okay, maybe. But what about doing what we call forced behavior? You go see your dog. You don't speak with your dog one day, two days. Now the dog would like to get some attention. How the dog can get attention? By showing you that he is hurt. Look at this. He's so, he's so hurt. Please help me. Something happened to me, an accident. Is this real? Or he's faking it just to get attention. Look, he's so good. He's walking like he's feeling the pain. No, not really. No one paid attention to him? <laughs> Can you see? Animals, they are really smart. We think that they are just, you know, doing this and they are cute. No, they are so smart. They are like as smart as kids. When kids, they will do what? They're like, oh, cry. Then they see, are they getting any attention? No more attention. They continue. But there are no tears coming, right? They are just trying to get attention. They are so smart. They are trying to be, be, uh, condition you rather than you condition them. They are so, so smart. Some of them, they can fake death. This is a snake. 
and the, the snake usually it will sleep during some period of, of uh, in the year and the, the snake is afraid that when it will sleep someone will, will eat it so it will change its skin to appear like it's dead so everyone will pass by we say okay the snake is dead so they don't eat the snake imagine some of these snakes they have ability to be able to sit there for a while, so in that way their smell will disappear. So when the dog is looking around or any animal to try to smell any snake around, they will not be able to find it. These animals, they have amazing ability to be able to create certain behavior to trick other animals. What about this concealment? Come on, theft, we know theft, right? We know monkeys, they do what? A lot of theft. If you go to Malaysia, I go to Malaysia a lot. Oh my God, the monkeys, they are so good. They come and they steal everything, right? And it's very, very funny. When they steal, sometimes they share, sometimes they don't. It depends on the group. Now, stealing is fine, but what about concealment? What's the meaning of concealment? Some birds, they discover, they don't want to take care of their babies because it's a lot of work. So what they do? They get the eggs. When they get the eggs, they manipulate the shape of the egg to look like another egg so in that way they will take it and they put it in another nest for another bird and the other bird will look at the shape will not be able to identify if this shape is actually his uh, egg or uh, someone else's egg and he, the bird will take care of the egg until the egg will break and then the baby will come but the baby of do you know oh, this uh, from this egg is different than other babies right so this mom, she's saying, what happened? Why the baby is different? Something wrong going on. But most likely, this bird is bigger than other birds, so it's getting more attention. And even imagine, the new baby bird is sounding the same sound of her babies. So in that way, she's thinking, he's my baby. What about squares? They do a very interesting technique called distraction displays. So usually, they discover when they did IQ test that these guys are so smart, they have ability to memorize all the location for all the nuts that they are hiding in the forest. All. Wow. Because what they do? They go collect them, hide them somewhere, and then eat them later. But these guys, they are so smart. For example, they go find one nut. They were trying to hide it. And they see another square is looking at them, saying, okay, hide it there, I will go get it later. So they say, oh, what should we do? So they go, they open a hole. It looks like they throw the nut there, but they have the nut under their <laughs> body. They close it, then they go around. When no one is following, they go hide it another place. What? They are so smart to deceive other animals that they are doing certain acts. It's not like they see another one, they move away. No, no, no. They deceive the other one by claiming that they are actually hiding their nuts. Let's take another example. Another example of distraction display. They discover when the mom will see an animal is about to attack her and her babies, she will do a very interesting technique. She will act like actually she is sick or something wrong with her and she will move like example a bird she will uh, the bird will move do you know like uh, uh, in a different way to get the uh, distraction from her kids so in that way the other animal will focus on her and she will move she will move she will move until she will reach a certain location far away and then she will fly <laughs> so in that way the animal will not be able to go back and remember where to, the nest to attack her babies so they do a way for them to deceive, which is a very interesting technique. Look, all these techniques that are happening in the nature world, also we do in, in our life. But these guys, they do it as well. What about chemical deceptions? <laughs> they say in the nature, for us to live with each other, we have language. In the nature, so many of the insects they don't have language. For them to identify and interact with each other, they interact using smell, which is very interesting. Sometimes some spiders, they understand that they want to go and get food without working for it. So how can they do that? They can go inside the nest of the ants and they can get their food. 
But the thing that will happen that most of these ants in the jungle, they are killer ants. What's the meaning? If they will discover that the spider even close by, they can go and attack the spider and throw certain chemical on the spider so the spider can die and they can eat the spider. So how can the spider go inside the nest and steal their food? One of the technique that the spider will change his smell to smell like the ants. How can he do in this? They call, call it shampooing. They go, one spider he will go and he will lick the ants and will take their smell and put it on his body so he can walk inside the nest and the ants thinking this is another ant. He will carry all the food and he will run away. Wow. Interesting technique. They do so many of these techniques for them to be able to do manipulation. But this is nothing compared to what I'm going to show you now, which is the second technique called verbal deception. Voice is a very effective way for animals to communicate. Some birds, they communicate with other animals and they have code. What's the code? If there is a danger, I'm going to tell you there is a danger. So imagine one animal Notice that there is a danger. Sounded certain voice to give warning to other animals. So the other animals created trust and they trust them. And maybe they can violate the trust. But once they violate the trust, they don't trust them anymore. So what is the solution? The solution is to try to find another verbal deception to be able to get what they want. All right. So now camouflaging. What's the meaning of camouflage? The use of any combination of material, coloration, behavior to help or conceal animal by making it hard for you to spot them. It's hard for you to see them. So animals sometimes, what they try to do, they try to be able to blend with the background. So in that way you'll not be able to see them. Remember, this is different than making a marking. Making a marking, you make a mark on yourself, so you are sending a signal to someone else. You do something like this, you blend with the background. No one will see you. You do something like this, you blend with the background. So animals, they have ability to look at the environment they are in and they be able to blend in that background, which is also another technique they use. Now, we thought before that animals can trick each other because they have the ability to think about what others are thinking in the jungle. But recent study proved that animals can trick us by figuring out how we are thinking. What? They did a study on dogs. And I'm going to show you the study. The study is very interesting. You are going to see the video. The study showed that if you actually trick the dog by telling him, okay, here's the ball, he will throw the ball, he will bring you the ball, he will throw the ball, and then you don't give him the treat, next time he is going to play a game with you. You throw the ball and he looks like he's searching for the ball. There is no ball. You come and you see the ball there. But when you come, he will carry it. Ha, ah, here's the ball, I found it. He will trick you because you are not giving him what you're supposed to give him. And the study that I'm going to show you is very interesting. They did a study where they told the dog, okay, you go and you tell the human in one, which one of the three boxes there is a, a food. So in that way, the human will open, find the food, he will give you some. So the dog will go, sniff, find the food, tell you which box, so in that way, you give him some. They discover the minute a human will take the box and not give the, uh, the uh, uh, dog food, the dog will sniff and say, this is the box and the box is empty. Because he said, if you don't give me, you don't get also. <laughs> Animals, they have the ability to do all these gimmicks against us. And we think we are the smartest animal on, on, on the earth, right? Is this the truth? But the funny thing sometimes, that also we can do some tricks on animals. Look at this. He's like, what the hell? Don't you do that on kids, where you are actually giving kids different signals and they are trying to understand the world and they don't understand what's going on? Deception is very interesting. 
Now we discussed for the last around an hour and a half about what? About everything related to deception in the animal kingdom. Now let's discuss a very important concept. What is the difference between the jungle and between our society, human? What is the difference? They do deception, we do deception. What is the difference there? And what is the difference here? What is the difference between um, these two environments? What do you think? Selfish. Hmm? Selfish. What's that? Selfish. Becoming one more and more. Okay. You, they are selfish also. You can see they are selfish. So they are selfish. We are selfish. What is the difference why we don't live in the jungle? They do it only for, to survive. They do it only to survive. So look what, what I want to add to that. The rules of the game by doing deception is acceptable in the jungle. Is it acceptable in the jungle? Yeah. <coughs> they say sometime, sometime is acceptable in the jungle. Why? Because they say in the jungle, in so many situations, there are no rules. The only rules is survive and strive. That's it. These are the rules. You do anything possible to be able to, to survive and strive. Regardless if you are going to do something that you should not, or sometime if you do something beyond what you should, it depends. Because this is the jungle. No one said these are the rules of the game that you need to follow. And if you don't follow, you go to prison. But we have that in human. No one said if you trick someone or if you lie or if you deceive or if you do corruption or fraud, we will consider it an illegal act and we take action against you and we isolate you from the social group. We make the social group take you out and after you do your act, if you come back to social group, they will not accept you again. You can't find a job. They will not like you. They don't have that. They have different environment. So the difference between them and us, that we have code of conduct. That all of us we agreed on and we adhere to. What is that code of conduct? We call it law. We call it law. In the jungle, they don't call it law. They call it morality. This is how things are done in our social group. So if our social group is about eating other animals and tricking, we do it. Doesn't matter. But in real life here, all of us, we agreed all over the world, in the human world, that we have law and all of us, we follow. And all of us, we adhere to. And if you don't follow, if you manipulate, if you do fraud, we consider you violated that law and you are out of the social group. That's the difference. The three rules that are governing our life is the following. They are the law, they are morality, and they are ethics. These are the three rules that will decide your decision today and every day. So let's discuss them. How did it will happen? The world we are living in, the government will decide the law in every country, in every uh, spot you are living in. Good. Now, morality will be decided by your social group. It depends which social group. Sometimes it can be based on religion. Sometimes it can be based on nationality. Sometimes it can be based on th the family that you grow up in. Sometimes it can be based on your beliefs. Sometimes it can be based on certain environment or ideas that you believe in. So this will create, what's the meaning of morality? What is right and what is wrong? Which is, what is right and what is wrong for you, not for the world? What is right and what is wrong in the world, we call it law. The government will say, this is right, this is wrong. But what is right and what is wrong for you is based on your social group. And now we live in a world of conflict where you have your own beliefs, in your social group and you need to survive with your social group and you learn this from the communication in the social group and you believe this is how the world should be and you come to the world where the rules are set by the government and they say these are the rules of the game and now if you believe that you see that red light and you say why red light is not important in my country everyone will drive when it's red light this is how we do it what you do you cross the red light because you say red light is not something that's important. 
I visited one country, and listen what happened. This is a very funny story. I visited one country. My friend picked me up from the airport. So when he picked me up from the airport, we were driving home. So I saw red traffic light, and he crossed it. I said, why you crossed it? He said, don't worry. I live here. This is how, how we do it. I'm local here. I said, okay. Then I found another red light. Then he crossed it. I said, well, the other red. He said, don't worry. I'm local. I'm crossing it. Don't worry. I live here. Then the light was green. Then he stopped. I said, why you stop? He said, another local is passing by. <laughs> <laughs> See? They understand each other. This is how business will be done there, right? This is in some part of the world. This is how things will be done. No need for traffic lights. Why we have them? We understand each other. <laughs> but the world is not operating like this. We need to follow the law. So what we have between law and morality, we have ethics. See, this is the thing that will make you decide. We have code of conduct. We have code of ethics will tell you what you are going to do is acceptable or it's not acceptable based on the profession, based on the task, based on whatever things you are going to do. It will help you make that decision where you are going to adhere to the law, but at the same time, you are not going to follow something that you should not do based on the decision or the situation you are facing. It will govern your choices. And this is why we are living in a human world where we communicate, we understand, and we come up with the right decision. And if you don't do that, if you violate code of ethics, or if you violate the law, sometime you go to prison. Now, we discussed so much today about animals and about a human, but the interesting thing that technology is advancing, and currently they are creating more solution where using your phone, you will be able to interact with the animal and understand what they are thinking. What? Animals, they speak with each other, but you don't know what they are saying. So they found a way that they were able to be able to see the dolphins, what they are saying, and they figure out this sound, the meaning of it, the dolphin is giving warning to another dolphin. This sound, the meaning is this. This sound, the meaning is this. So they were able to capture these sounds and they were able to create certain applications where you can download it on your phone and in that way you turn on the application and your dog will say something and the application will say, I'm hungry, feed me. Oh, okay. And then you can write on something so you send a message to the dog, okay, the food is coming. The dog, oh, good. Interesting, right? However, the dog is so smart, but he will not figure out that you have that application. He's not that smart. So if we have that application, we'll be able to understand all the trick of our animals, right? Because you'll be able to listen to what they are saying. I don't like my owner. He's not that good. Huh? <laughs> I want to run away. <laughs> you come. What? You are running away here. Come. <laughs> it's interesting how the world we are moving in. We are moving to the world where we have more communication. And that will help us reduce deception. And we are hoping to reach there, to be able to make the world a better place. How was the session today? Interesting?